Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Sa video na to, we will be discussing an, an alternative way of finding the formula for the nth term of a given sequence. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Previously, nagkaroon na tayo ng video about finding the nth term formula for a given sequence wherein doon sa video na yon, I used different illustrations para maka-arrive sa formula. This time, magkakaroon tayo ng ibang form of solution and we will call that the difference table. Yung tinatawag natin na difference table, isa lang siyang table, obviously, na na-construct para makita yung differences between the terms. Meaning, ima-minus natin ng ima-minus yung mga terms, pati yung mga difference ng mga terms, hanggang yung difference nila maging equal na. Yung first layer of difference, ang tawag natin doon is the first difference or d sub 1. Kapag sa d sub 1, equal na agad, ang tawag sa sequence natin ay isang arithmetic sequence. At yung common difference ng sequence na yon ay yung d sub 1. Kapag hindi magkakapareho yung first layer of difference or yung d sub 1, ima-minus pa natin siya. Kapag dun sa d sub 2 or sa second difference, dun na nag-equal yung mga values, then pwede na tayong mag-start magbuo ng formula. Minsan, ganito yung nagiging formula niya, a sub n equals capital A n squared plus capital C. Minsan ganito, minsan hindi ganyan. So, the important thing here is after finding this formula, kapag nakakuha ka na ng sa tingin mo'y formula for that sequence, you have to check whether the terms are really the result ng formula na to kapag ginamit mo ang iba't ibang values ng n. Later, we will find out sa example natin kung paano ba chine-check yung ganong scenario. So, going back sa formula na to, a sub n equals capital A n squared plus C, yung a dito yung tinatawag na kalahati ng second difference. At yung C ay yung term bago mag a sub 1. Again, kailangan chine-check yung a sub n formula na to depende dun sa given number of terms. Para mas maintindihan tong difference table na to, tong technique kung paano makuha yung formula for the nth term, let's have this example. Suppose you have this sequence 5, 23, 53, 95 and so on and we have to find the nth term formula or the general formula for this sequence. So ang gagawin lang natin, isusulat natin siya ng medyo magkakahiwalay sa isa't isa. Kailangan may distance, kailangan may space, kailangan yon space. Kasi medyo magiging crucial yung distance sa pagitan nila dahil doon natin ilalagay yung differences. So, ibig sabihin, tingnan muna natin itong 5 and 23. Yan munang dalawa yung pagfofocusan natin ng attention. Isusubtract natin yan sa isa't isa. 23 minus 5 is 18. Again, itong first layer ng difference natin, yun yung tinatawag na d sub 1 or first difference. After having the subtraction of 5 and 23, ito namang dalawa. 23 and 53. 53 minus 23 is 30. At para dito sa huling pair, 95 minus 53 is 42. By the way, ang pagsusubtract natin is right minus left. Ganun lagi yung direction natin. Dahil mas malaki yung number sa right, laging pa right minus left ang pagmaminus natin. So, as you can see, D sub 1 is 18, 30, and 42. Obviously, magkakaiba sila. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na kapag yung first difference ay hindi pa rin equal sa isa't isa, we have to continue the subtraction. Otherwise, kung pare-pareho na itong d sub 1, say for example lahat ng d sub 1 ay 18, ibig sabihin ang ating original given sequence ay arithmetic sequence. At yung 18, yung tinatawag natin na common difference. But Tulad nga dito, magkakaiba pa yung first difference, tuloy lang natin yung pagmaminus. So we have here 30 minus 18, 
which is 12. Yan yung d sub 2. And finally, we have 42 minus 30 is also 12. Yan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung d sub 2 equal na. Pareho na silang 12. E paano kung magkaiba pa rin? Paano kung yung isa 12, yung isa 13? So, ang gagawin doon, kailangan pang magtuloy ng pagmaminus and that will be d sub 3. Ganun lang lagi hanggang sa magpareho yung mga differences. Pero pag kasi umabot ng third difference or d sub 3, iba na yung magiging format ng formula niya. Itong ating example, it will just be dealing with sequences na ang second difference ay equal. So parang ganito. So going back, Sa example na to, we have d sub 2 is 12. Para makuha natin yung capital A, kakalahatiin natin yung d sub 2. Obviously, we have 12 over 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Ibig sabihin, isa sa mga numbers na dapat nating makita sa formula natin ay 6. At yung 6 na yan ay dapat katabi ng n squared. Yan. Kung matatandaan nyo, ito yung finlash ko kanina na formula. Wherein yung A na coefficient ng n squared, napalitan na siya ng 6. 6 dahil kalahati yon ng 12, ng second difference. Yan. So, we're left with one last variable, plus c. So, paano kinukuha yung plus c? Hahanapin natin kung ano ba yung term bago mag-5. Kung paano yon we'll just work backwards. Alam natin na yung d sub 2 ay 12. Ibig sabihin, Sa pagitan ng nawawalang term na to at ng 5, ang second difference dapat nila ay 12. So ano kayang number ang kapag minus 18, ang sagot ay 12? You may pause this video and think, what should be the number na dapat i-minus 18 para maging 12? Okay, the answer should be 6 dahil 18... Diba right minus left? 18 minus 6 is 12. So, dapat 6 ang first difference sa part na to. Going further upwards, ano kaya ang dapat i-minus sa 5 para maging 6? Again, pause this video and think, what should be subtracted to 5 to get 6? Okay, the answer is negative 1. Dahil, again, right minus left. 5 minus negative 1 is 6. So, with that being said, ito yung term na sinasabi ko kanina prior to a sub 1. Dahil ang 5 natin ay a sub 1, ito yung nagsisilbing first term natin, kinuha lang natin yung term bago mag 5, which is negative 1. Na-arrive natin to using the pattern of the first and second differences. At itong negative 1, ito yung tinatawag natin na C. Ibig sabihin, ang formula natin ay more or less ganito ang itsura. A sub n equals 6n squared minus 1. Tapos, yun na yung formula. Itatest na natin using n equals 1, 2, 3, 4 kung ito nga ba ang lalabas. Yan. So, to check, Let's use the formula, but this time n equals 1. Substitute, we'll get this part. 1 squared here is 1. 6 times 1 is 6. Minus 1, we have 5. So, tumama sa first term. For the second term, you may pause this video and try solving. Tama nga kaya na 23 ang lalabas sa formula na to kapag 2 ang sinubstitute natin sa n? Let's see. We have 6, quantity 2 squared minus 1, but 2 squared is simplified as 4. 4 times 6 is 24, minus 1 we have 23. Ayun, pareho pa din sa second term. So, so far, gumagana pa yung formula natin. Let's go to the third term. Uh, this time, solve mo ulit. Tapos, i-resume natin tong video. Tingnan natin kung tama yung sagot mo dito sa sequence na to. Let's check. Let's use n equals 3. 3 squared is 9. 
9 times 6 is 54. Minus 1, we have 53. So, ayun, tumama pa din. 53 nga ang third term. And finally, for A sub 4, again, pause this video and solve for A sub 4 using this formula. Okay, game. Tingnan natin kung tama nga. We have 6 times 4 squared minus 1. 4 squared is 16. Times 6, we have 96. Minus 1 is 95. So as you can see, yung first 4 terms, nung sinubstitute natin ng n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, at n equals 4, lahat ng naging sagot ay yung terms sa given natin na sequence. So with that being said, Itong formula natin na a sub n equals 6 n squared minus 1, it is really the nth term formula for 5, comma 23, comma 53, comma 95, and so on. So with that being said, this is already your final answer. So what if, what if kapag sinubstitute natin yung n equals 1 hanggang n equals 4, hindi tumama? hindi naging ganito yung sagot. Ibig sabihin, mali yung formula at ibang formula ang gagamitin natin. Tulad ng sabi ko, yung ganitong formula may or may not be accurate for a certain sequence. Kaya nga dapat lagi nating chinacheck kasi may mga item or may mga sequences na kahit tama naman yung solution natin sa pagkuha ng A at C, hindi pa rin sapat para masabi natin na yun nga yung formula nila. But in this case, tumama nga, so ito na yung formula. A sub n equals 6 n squared minus 1. So I have this challenge for you. Watch the video, Tagalog, Finding the Nth Term of a Given Sequence Part 1. Ilalagay ko yung link sa description box sa baba. And yung example doon, gamitan mo ng difference table para makuha mo yung nth term formula niya. Afterwards, mag-usap tayo sa comment section sa baba. Tingnan natin kung pareho ba yung magiging sagot mo kung difference table din naman ang gagamitin mo. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.